Ooh, let's have a cup of tea. Morning, lovely people of YouTube. A uh, bit of a different video today. I'm going on holiday, so I thought I'd vlog it because I like doing vlogs and it's sort of car related. I'm going in a car to get there. So I thought, why not vlog it? So I'm going to the Lake District. I try and do one run a week just to keep like my fitness levels up. I do about four or five miles, um, but I didn't manage to do it yesterday. It's half past seven, it's the end of October and it's quite cold. So um, grab the GoPro and let's go. Okay, so I'm back from the run now. I've had a shower, packing the car up. Uh, there's a few things to do. I really wanted to clean the car before we left, but I've run out of time for that. So I might have to go and get someone else to clean it. Let's see. So this is the state of my Golf at the minute, which has essentially acted as like a, a bit of a van over the last uh, few weeks. Whilst carrying bits to and from the tip and uh, new bits, stair parts, all sorts. They're everything to do with basically renovating the house. You can see I've even packed the stuff to clean the car. That was very optimistic, but um, yeah, that's not happened yet. So mm, looking like I'm gonna have to nip it to the local car wash. Here's the route that we're taking, uh, it's total 144 miles, which is saying two and a half hours. Um, we are going to stop for some lunch, I reckon that's going to be further north, probably in the Lake District. I'm using the Waze app, which is my favourite for navigation because it tells you lots of information like uh, roadworks, police and also it has live updates. Um, I've even had it with Waze before where it knows there's traffic on a motorway, so it sends you up the slip road and then back onto the motorway to miss the traffic, which is uh, quite an interesting app. Just spotted this Nissan Cube in front that's got an Alton Park sticker. Reckon he's been to Alton Park? Okay, so we've done about 80 miles so far and um, it's starting to get a bit hilly now. We're still on the M6. You pretty much just sit on the M6 for 85 miles. Um, there's nothing that really uh, beats a big diesel on a motorway other than like a bigger diesel. Um, if you just spin around here, I'll show you. I've got the cruise control set. You can see that right in the middle there. We're averaging 76.6 miles per gallon um, and it's doing about 1800 RPM at 70 miles an hour. But we're all getting quite hungry now. Um, so we're gonna stop soon. I think we'll stop in about half an hour and grab a bite to lunch. And, Grab a bite to lunch. <laughs> Grab a bite for lunch. A bite to eat. A bite to eat? Yeah, you do. We're eating. <laughs> okay, so we've just arrived at the hotel. It's quite nippy. Um, I just wanted to show you how much we could get in the boot of the car. So I've got my camera gear, uh, some very fluffy slippers. I only wear these on special occasions. <laughs> a couple of pairs of boots, big suitcase, uh, my bag, and then some fancy hair thing which obviously I have to have because I drive an MX-5. Um, so, and a camera bag, so uh, yeah. Get quite a bit in the boot of this car. We're gonna go check in now. Oh, I'll spin around and show you, I'll show you it. There's the hotel, look at that. Ooh, spa hotel. And uh, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be in the spa later on today. Two hours, six to eight. Ooh. Just made it to the spa, chilling out with my wine. Cheers. Okay, so we're on our morning walk. Um, the hotel is literally right just there. Um, it's lovely and it's not raining and it's brilliant. This is the fourth time that we've filmed this because my girlfriend really isn't very good at holding a camera. She's a bit shorter than me, so she tends to point it right at my nipple line. So you've got a great shot of my nipples probably for most of this. It's really nice here, the sun's coming out, look. Oh. We don't really fit in though because we haven't got a dog. Everyone around here has a dog. Um, my face isn't that great. Okay, you just tap on my face. They're right. Ramblers, real ones. They've even got the sticks. Okay, so a uh, bit of an update on where we're at. Uh, we just went for lunch in Kendall, it was really nice. A couple of years ago, we found this place called Brew Brothers. It's like a cafe, but they do like really healthy food. And um, yeah, we came back and they still do the same amazing food. So uh, if you come to Kendall, uh, go to Brew Brothers Cafe because it's really nice. Bit of an update on the car. It's going well, uh, it's getting a bit dirty now. The biggest thing that I've noticed that's annoying me at the moment is there's lots of bugs on the windscreen, which is annoying. And if you come around the back, 
because because we're in October, there's all this spray on the roads and the, the, my nice shiny brand new bumper's getting quite dirty now. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch that video where I explained uh, why I've had to fit a new bumper. Also on the way down, uh, we had a nice folly with a Range Rover. Basically, he flew past on the motorway. Um, but I absolutely love this car because as soon as we got into the twisties, he was wallowing all over the place and he couldn't get away. So not that I was racing or anything, driving very sensibly, but 76 mile per gallon on the way down and then absolutely beasted a Range Rover on the twisties. But yeah, we're going to a restaurant called Mizu later, which is in the hotel and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I'll catch up with you, probably taking more videos of food. Um, I'm not really a foodie, but the food so far on this trip has been perfect. <laughs> I feel like this car needs some appreciation. Look at those calipers. Woo! Don't know what I'd have that or a Evo. I quite like the Evo 10s. Let me know down below in the comments what you'd have. Just feel like, because this is obviously still a car channel, it's worth mentioning about this uh, Aston Martin Vantage that looks like it's kind of got bald tyres on it here. Still very nice. Okay, good morning. We're leaving this morning, which is really sad. Um, it's drizzly and rainy, which also is a bit a bit naff but I'd rather be raining on the day that we're leaving and um, you can see just how well everything fits into this boot look we've got three weeks worth of luggage for my girlfriend and then one bag for me and a camera bag luckily we're not going for a walk this morning because it's chucking it down with rain uh, but we are going to a garden center so I think that's a sign of getting pretty old when you look forward to going to a garden center but let's get out of this rain and uh, head on over there's, there's so much Christmas stuff here like it's everywhere it's October but I have got a little bird hut for my tits. Okay, so we are back now. I think it took about two hours to get back. I'm gonna take a quick look at the car and the trip computer. Um, it got pretty covered on the way back. As you can see, there's some, uh, some leaves on it. I think leaves were the biggest problem this entire trip. They kept uh, falling on the car and then getting stuck. All I always worry about whether leaves are like going into my uh, radiator down here. They must go in there and then sort of like decompose in the bottom, which isn't cool. Um, but yeah, the car performed pretty flawlessly, to be honest with you, as usual with this car. There was a lot of spray on the motorway on the way back, and um, you could almost see that on the car where the spray was hitting. I always find it really interesting uh, when you see cars with dirt on them, you can actually see where the air's flowing just from where the dirt is. It's super interesting about this car is its drag coefficient is actually 0.27, which is 10% better than the Mark V Golf. And that's actually almost the same as a Toyota Prius or Toyota Prius, however you want to say it. So this car is almost as slippery as a Prius, which I think is crazy when you think about it. On this trip as well, I think these tyres have made an absolute huge difference these are continental uh, premium contacts they're not actually that old they're 205 55 16s and I, I'm not in love with the look of them I've said it before in my videos but the huge sidewall that 55 inch sidewall is what makes these so comfy they're so squishy and they just add that extra bit of squishiness and comfort on a long ride let's just have a quick look around the back here with the dirt you can see a lot of dirt and where the airflow obviously what's happening with this car is there's quite almost like a vacuum all the swirling air here the dead air this one annoying thing is it gets the rear window really really dirty and i don't know is anyone else like me i don't like using the rear wiper because i don't like that little half moon semicircle that you get when you use it and it's dirty maybe that's just me being weird so just looking here at the trip computer and we've got 5087.6 miles showing that means total for this trip was 441 miles and I left with a full tank. Here is the fuel tank now, so you can see that's 441 miles of usage. I think it's got 245 left, so um, what's that thinking? 245 plus 441. So yeah, 686 miles, just under 700 miles off that tank, um, which I think is pretty darn good. That's me all done for this video. I'm gonna go run inside and grab a cup of tea. I'm really glad we took this car. Um, I think one, one thing that should be used more in road tests and journos and people who are reviewing cars is can your girlfriend fall asleep while sat at 70 miles an hour if your girlfriend is like mine this car she's straight away but in the mazda she's wide awake shouting at me the whole time it's too loud for long journeys you cannot beat this car out of the two i know i've got a lot of mazda fans but this bad boy is the one you want to be in if you're doing 700 miles so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video a bit different to my usual stuff but a lot of you i know are interested in what i do that's not car related so um, i get a lot of messages about that keep those messages coming let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more stuff like this or what you'd like to see on the channel and i'll catch up with you very soon cheers bye